What's good YouTube? You're back on S Motorsports. Today we're going to be doing a little Trunnion upgrade for the LQ4 LS build. guys so like i said today we're going to be doing a trunnion upgrade for the lq4 build we're doing for the trans am the third gen trans am if you haven't checked out my playlist yet if this is the first time uh finding my channel make sure to check out my trans am playlist as that is a 85 trans am and i also have a 2018 camaro ss1le that you can check out that playlist as well but right now what we got going is we're building an LS LQ4 engine to put in my 85 Trans Am. And as you can see, I'm making some really good progress. We got rec port heads, like I said in the last video. Really the next step is to get the Trunnions upgraded on this as, you know, basically if you're watching this, you probably know that the stock Trunnions are no good. So we have to do an upgrade. And the one I chose is the BTR. Uh, this is like their stage to or version to, I should say, Trunnion kit. I mean, just first glancing at it, it looks like a really nice high quality kit. I know there are other kits out there that have the brass bushings and stuff. Um, and basically, I don't want anything to do with those brass, bu brass bushings. Um, from what I've read and seen, basically, you know, brass is soft, it wears. Um, maybe for some high lift race applications, it works good, but as far as I'm concerned, this is a better selection um, for longevity in the motor. The, the bearings, they're captured in this design versus the stock design. That's really the main problem is that the needle bearings aren't captured in the normal LS ones. These are gonna be captured with uh, washers and uh, snap, ring, uh, snap rings. So there's really not or a very, very, very low risk that you're gonna have these little needle bearings coming out inside and wrecking your engine if something would fail. So what I'm gonna do is, I this is the first time I've ever done this, so I'm gonna read the instructions carefully and we're gonna do one, try it out. I picked up a little tool as well to help with that and we'll give it a shot and then if first one goes good, we'll all set you up on the uh, tripod there and we'll knock the rest out. Okay guys, I brought you in close. I got my tool kind of rigged up. The magnet isn't super strong, so I kind of have another magnet underneath and a magnet here just to keep it in spot. So I did try one already and I got it complete as I didn't really know what the heck I'm doing. So I um, wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing before I told you guys, but uh, here we'll do another one here. So, so yeah. I had the flat, there's a flat on the uh, rocker arms. As you can see, this side doesn't have it, this side does. So I put the flat towards the tool. And then in this tool gets this little press guy. And you use that to press out the old bearings. So you kind of position it right on that bearing. It fits really nice. Get everything aligned. And it comes right out. And it's gonna pop, kinda. Yep. There, take too low. And then careful, cause you're gonna have all those bearings. So basically you got this halfway in, halfway out. Now you can remove um, the inner bearing or outer bearings pop off there and then that's it and then you have your left with the rocker arm so now we're already on the installation phase so the biggest thing that I'm reading on the instructions and in seeing is that these bearings that you get with the kit they have writing on them and you need to make sure that writing is facing the outside of the rocker arm there is writing on the bearing. It's very hard to see 
on camera you're probably not going to be able to see it but there is writing on one side so that has to be facing the writing is on this side and that's going to be facing the outside of the rocker so what you do is what what i was doing is basically there's little plastic caps i was just pushing this bearing onto the tool and it pushes the cap right out and slides right over the tool that that way there's I don't know, less chance of losing the little bearings. So then it looks like this. So now it's gonna slide in. The writing is on the outside here. So this goes in like so. This actually slides inside the tool. And then you can start closing it up. That's gonna, that, that little portion of the tool, how it slides in, it helps align everything to start. And then you can press it in. and you're basically pressing it flat. All right, now we got one bearing pressed in and as you can see, it is flat. So the tool comes out. Being mindful that you have little needle bearings kind of free right now. So you take one of your trunnions, like so, you take this, we're gonna put it in, whoop, slide it in like so, the bearing is on this side. Slide it down in, into the bearings, like that. And now we flip it, so this is the side without the bearing. That's going to the outside now. And then you can take another bearing, and push out the uh, plastic piece, holding the needle bearings in. Making sure double checking of the writing. The writing is on this side on this side so that faces out. I'm gonna take a washer and you can start pressing it. And you press that to flat again. And that washer helps set the distance so you don't press uh, it in too far. So now you definitely have free movement there, which is good. So now you take two washers, put a washer on each side, and now you put the snap rings on. Okay, that's a completed unit. We got snap rings on, still moves freely. So everything should be good to go. All right guys, now that I've shown you one, I'm just gonna time lapse it and knock out the rest, which is probably gonna take a little bit as got 14 more to do, but uh, got the TV on, I'm just gonna have at her, so enjoy. Well guys, we got all of the trunnions upgraded. As you can see, they turned out really nice. They move freely like they should. You know, they're a little stiff. Some of them are a little stiff due to the, the grease and stuff, but otherwise they all went together really good. I got a little excited and already installed some. I totally forgot to film because I was like, oh, let's get these on and they look so great, which they do look awesome. So the rocker arm bolts get torqued to 22 foot pounds, making sure to put assembly lube on the valve tips as well as the push rods, which crap, I already, I already installed those and I forgot to tell you about those as well. So what I'm using are these Summit Racing push rods. Uh, they're a little thicker than stock and I got the 7.425 uh, length and I measured that. Um, that was the length that I needed 
due to shaving the heads a little bit, like 21 thousandths, as well as the uh, camshaft, if you remember from that video, which you, if you haven't watched that, I put a, a card up here, but that one, uh, I measured the camshaft base circles from the stock one and the new Red Hot Cam. The Red Hot Cam base circle is a little bit smaller, so I uh, kind of calculated that out and measured, and that's what I ended up needing for my push rod length. So I think that'll work out good. That'll preload the lifters, um, the correct amount at, you know, roughly uh, 80 thousandths to 100 thousandths preload. So I'm gonna throw these other ones on and uh, I'll set you up and really it's, there's not much to it. And we'll take a look at the final product. Look at that guys, we got them all installed. I rotated the engine over a bunch of times, everything clears, uh, the valves obviously, and uh, double check the torque on all of the rocker arm uh, bolts and everything is good to go. Um, and I had to throw the valve covers on, I did paint these up and they are looking mighty fine, but I could not install, what, the uh, passenger side one as oh, you will see that breather baffle definitely hits the uh, trunnion upgrade. So that looks like that, if you can see that, that like just must squeak by the factory ones. Um, but the, yeah, this that definitely hits. So let me know in the comments if you guys know what to do with that. Otherwise, I take it uh, maybe something similar to this where you just kind of blow that away and then you're gonna have to figure out how to, I am gonna have a catch can, so it's it's probably not a big deal, um, but I'd still like to have some sort of a baffle there, even going to the catch can. But uh, you can see I put the damper on earlier today and the engine is really taking shape um, and making some progress next, you know. It's obviously missing something up here. We're gonna be working on that, so stay tuned. Uh, and then really the next, I gotta do some modifications to the mount to get those on there. And then coils and brackets. This is making some real progress. And um, you know, then we're gonna start working on the car side, which there's a ton of stuff to do there over the winter. So stay tuned for that. So guys, that's it for today. Thanks for joining in. Make sure to stay tuned for what I got in store for the LQ4 build next as We've got to top that off with the intake manifold and all the goodness that goes with that. And then we're gonna be, like I said, starting on the car side, which there's a ton of stuff to do there as well. So if you haven't, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Uh, you know, like, comment, share, turn on those bell notifications uh, so you don't miss anything. All right, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.